Okay, Julius, Roby, Robin 300 lead wash. What are your thoughts? Okay, um, here we go. We've got a market of lead product that's exponentially expanding. We've got a marketplace with a dynamic shifting. If you cast your mind back 10 years ago, you had ETC, Strand, Celicorn, and a few others making fixed luminaires. And then you had moving lights of the like of uh, Very Light at the top. You had Clay Packy, you had Comar. Martin were uh, imminent or very uh, prominent um, 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, and Everything was a lot bigger and heavier back then. High-end systems. Um, and here we go. And, and then the emergence of the Czech Republic company, Roby. Um, originally in some kind of badge engineering sort of world about a decade ago, and they emerged in their own right. And now they're typically in the, in the world of things that are automated, such as this, um, they'd be number three. Uh, Martin would be number one in global turnover terms. Um, when you get to a lead product like this, um, what is there to say? We should, we should I'll, I'll do this bit because I know a little bit. So it's basically, it's, it's a moving head LED fixture. It's fairly standard in terms of things like pan and tilt range. Um, the LEDs, there's 19 LED modules and they're RGBW and they're split up into three separate separate sections. So you've got the center, then you've got the six surrounding ones, then you've got the final perimeter. So mm. uh, this is this is good for those sort of effects on camera, especially right. where, where you're actually seeing the fixture. Okay, head a few things I've noted, you know, terrific. Um, DMX five pin, DMX three pin, in and out. And Ethernet. Um, and Ethernet. Also, um, uh, power supply ranges from 100 volt to 240 volts. That's auto sensing. That's pretty important these days. That's really critical uh, where you've got um, the possibility of brownout, which is basically any electrical grid anywhere. Uh, you won't notice it. It can be as short as one second. It's the thing that knocks out refrigerators in uh, in restaurants, for mm. instance, mm. Um, and generators as well. I guess is um is where you like where you go under well voltage. On, on, you, you go under voltage. Stuff. If your power supply is, say, fixed at 240 volts and there's electronics that they're in, and you're the tech, I'm not, when it comes to electronics, um, but I know more than you do. Of course. Um, you can have losses. Now, we, we know of a venue where there were a large number of devices went down very recently, brand new devices, um, with fixed 240 volt power supplies because they had a brownout. And the venue, the problem that the venue then has is proving to the electrical uh, um, grid the provider, yeah, yeah, uh, the people, that the manufacturer the power. of the electricity, yeah, that's it, yeah, um, that 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 therein lies the fault. How do you do that? So that that's a side issue, but um, here we go. Yeah, well, mm. it's 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 less of an issue if your power supply can just deal yeah. with it. Um, so what have we got here? Two hundred watts power, something like that. Um, Very little. The uh, beam spread on this. What is it, James? It's, it's got a zoom on it. I think the zoom is fairly similar to the 600. Yeah. Um, but it doesn't seem as fast. Right. The 600's got a really fast zoom. The 600's a big brother. Yep. And in terms of punch, we've done the shine this into the redhead 800 watt um, comparison. Can you just very quickly explain to me why every single time we review a light, I get the light meter out because I want to compare it to a PAR64 and you go, you can't measure lumens using a light meter with a LED. Why? I could explain it, but you wouldn't understand. <laughs> okay, so other, other nice things about this. Um, I've, I've got my little headset mic here. I'm gonna put it right next to the fan. Can you hear that? It's because it's not making any noise. Does that mean there is a fan? Um, there, there is a fan Why does it in need a fan? the side, there is a fan in the back, because LEDs <clears throat> actually do generate a little bit of heat. Um, when? Well, when you leave them on for a really long time. Well, this um, has been on for hours. This has been it? on for hours, and it, it's appreciably warm, but it's it's not by I, any means. I'll yeah. tell you, my, my Mac laptop gets hotter than that on my lap, <clears throat> and it's because of the stuff I look at on the laptop, probably. <laughs> I was going to say, it's definitely not because you're doing too much work. Um, it's all the pictures I'm looking at. Yeah. Do you remember a while ago we, we, we fried a we fried an egg on a parkan? Yeah, it was fun. You couldn't do that on this. No. It doesn't get hot enough. It doesn't even get hot enough to, to upset your your hand or your Yeah. New era, digital lights. Way to go. It's way to go. It's through yeah. ULA. Robin's uh, Robin three hundred lead wash. Robin three hundred lead wash.
ఈ షో 